in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, in today's liturgy of the Word of God, St. Paul thanks the Heavenly Father on behalf of Thessalonians because of their openness. When Paul proclaimed the Gospel, they received it not as the Word of men but as the Word of God. In today's Gospel, our Blessed Lord condemns the hypocritical life of Pharisees because they, they, they were worried only about their external appearances. But the Lord who looks into all, their heart found only filth and corruption. Therefore, the Lord condemns such a life. Unlike external appearances, the Lord looks into the heart. Therefore, every time when Jesus came across persons, he could receive those whom the society rejected as sinners, outcasts. In them the Lord saw the craving, the journeying, difficulty in rising above their limits and to them he, grant them he gave them the grace to be truly authentically live as the sons and daughters of God. Let us then come to him to be empowered by the word and the sacrament so that we may in this life bear witness to his, the life of the resurrection. Toward this grace, let us pray. Let us pray. Lord, you alone deserve our worship, adoration and praise because you have redeemed us. You have loved us before we could love you. Therefore, with the purity of heart, with the holiness of our being, may we worship you in spirit and truth. We make this prayer in your holy name to your Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.